I was born in the year 1995 in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Uh, as a kid growing up, I was raised by my grandmother who lived in Rwanda. She was a mother figure and grandmother at the same time. As a kid growing up, I was really stubborn. I remember every time I misbehaved, I got whooped by grandma. But after she whooped me, she would always say, it's for a good cause, not because I hate you, but for the love I have for you. On my way to the US after leaving Africa, I had one thing on my mind. I remember as a kid, I used to tell my grandmother, I'm gonna build you a beautiful house when I grow up. Landing in a new country where ignorance was a huge part of young adults wasn't easy for me. I remember before heading to the airport, my grandmother called me in her room and said to me, you're about to go through a lot out there, but all you have to do is to keep your head up high. When I told people I was African, all they could tell me was how African people don't wear clothes, how Africa is just a jungle full of wild animals and all that. They would also say people in Africa don't speak or do is jump around like apes. Is it not some ignorant stuff? I was made fun of how I spoke, how I dressed, and really how I behaved. I felt left out and not cared about at all. My heart was dark, full of anger. I became vengeful. I can fight. That's how I grew up defending myself. But I knew if I did, that could have been a rap for me. So to get over my anger, I found another way to express myself. I hung out with my best friend AJ, who understood where I was coming from. You see, AJ understood me because he was also classified as a low class person and being foreign in America. What I was going through wasn't new to him. He's been there before. He supported my ideas and that helped me become comfortable in my path. I knew I was an athlete, so I started practicing to become a better athlete. From here, I broke out of my anger zone. Even though I can play sports, education will always be my first priority. So I still had to work much harder in class than I did before. Working hard with effort, I was overcoming my struggles. I recently graduated from Charleston High School, where I played football, soccer, and ran indoor and outdoor track. I am now heading to college on a football scholarship. One day I know for sure, I'll meet my grandma again and tell her I never forgot about her and if it wasn't for her hard work and dedication she presented to me, I don't know where I will be standing today. As I shared my story with you, I clearly understand what my grandma meant. But really, after high school, nothing will ever be the same. My name is Nemaya Kitwanda Mihikira and this is my story.